<laughs> Thank you, Adam. Uh, so, uh, topic here is a little bit about ActiveView and how we meet your security requirements without violating any of your NERCSEP. So what does ActiveView do? We're celebrating our 40th year in business this year. Uh, we design, build, install, service, support, and train large-scale visualization systems, like the video wall you see behind, and collaboration environments, peer-to-peer -peer information sharing within your organization. What makes us a little bit different is we do that as a network capability and a network interconnectivity. All these different locations all come into a certain, a certain point, and that point is a destination for you to view the information within the ActiveView system. The topic of security comes up the moment I talk about a network protocol and interconnection. The, all the NERC SIP guys have to, have to think about that. So what do we do, how do we do that, and, and how do we maintain that security in a way that is unique and meets all of those requirements? So first, one of the first things we do is we use commercially available off-the-shelf hardware. It's equipment that your IT team understands, knows, and can deal with. It's not proprietary. We run on a Windows uh, 10 LTSC Enterprise app, uh, operating system. What that means is a reduced number of patching and updates for those pieces of equipment within your organization, staying with things that your IT organization and your security team understand and know. Uh, each system that we build, as we build them, we do military grade vulnerability testing. Um, it's something we do for every system and it's something that meets the requirements of your, of your teams. We offer you the opportunity to do that vulnerability testing again and we use, uh, we allow you to use standard software profiles and the protection that you have within your organization. Add, add your, uh, add all of your software profiles in exactly the same way. Um, what that allows us ultimately to do is to maintain network isolation among some of these pieces of equipment by being terminology inside your PSP to protect that physical asset so nobody can get to it, touch it, and adjust it, but outside of your ESP, what that means is you don't have to allow it to be a, a NERC cyber asset, and in that way, the patching and protection is not as, as robust and is not as burdensome for your team. Uh, in simple terms, inside your PSP, outside your ESP, and it allows you to maintain network isolation and bring, as you've heard other people talk, all of these assets into one place and do it in a way that is safe, secure, so you can deliver safe and secure uh, power to your customers.